Hello. Uh, good morning. Yeah, who is this? Well, my name is Adam Smith. And I am calling from Nobelprize.org, which is the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay. First of all, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, may I ask how it feels to be the oldest ever awarded laureate? Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize I'm the oldest ever. So I um, I just about made it, huh? <laughs> because you can't be dead and win. The, you can, if you were a winner of the uh, National Inventors Hall of Fame, uh, you can be dead. Well, and I I won that prize uh, a couple of years ago, and I was very proud of that. That is the most uh, I would say the most important um, prize I won. Uh, may I ask? Are you still experimenting in your home lab? I am. In fact, I'm writing a paper now that uh, you guys are disturbing in my... Uh, I'm going to send it into science and uh, hope that they'll accept it. Well, I guess that's the secret of a successful research career, to concentrate on work rather than distractions. Well, um, uh, that's my uh, hobby, more, more or less. I was interested in science from since I was a kid, so I tell my wife that uh, that's the only thing that I'm really good at. And presumably you're amazed and delighted to see the variety of applications that optical tweezers have been put to. Well, I anticipated that it was pretty important from the ver from the t from the day go. The thing that I love, well, one of my heroes is uh, is uh, this guy, uh, this Dutchman, Anton Leeuwenhoek. And he um, he's the guy who discovered uh, uh, animacules. And he kept writing to the Royal Society, telling them and sending them pictures. And uh, nobody paid any attention to him until very much later. They want a sample of his microscope, and he said, uh, no. He says, if you want one, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> well, he's a hero, and uh, there are other guys, like Michael Faraday, who is another one of my heroes. It's good to have um, scientific heroes. So you knew when you developed them that you, were, that you were developing the instrument that would allow you to probe molecular processes? Uh, yes. Well, look, I was I was interested in in trapping molecules with light a long time ago. And I remember my famous paper in 1970. That's the most famous paper I ever wrote. Hmm. And that I mentioned molecules with light, but I never thought living things. Light was supposed to kill uh, tissue. They used light as a um, to feed, to heal will to heal wounds, and mm. it was considered to be deadly. Mm, mm, mm. So that was a very much a surprise. Mm. That was a big surprise. And uh, once I look, I well, I should I I got a lot of old stories to tell <laughs> about uh, what happened when I described uh, catching. Uh, living things with light. People said, uh, "Don't exaggerate, Ashkin." You you certainly weren't exaggerating. How exciting! Well, we look forward to hearing some more of these stories. Will you be coming to Stockholm in December to I'll receive? I'll come you? if I uh, if I can. Right. Sure. Are you going to celebrate? Well, look, I'm writing a paper now, and I'm not that cel celebrating about old stuff. I got something new and important. I'm working on solar energy, and I think I've gotten some important stuff. And the world badly needs science um, in climate change. Indeed. Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. That's an important message. I very much appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. And once again, many congratulations. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.